Hi there Turf people, I uh, wanted to go through the uh, TM system uh, cassettes uh, which basically unlocks the potential of your John Deere, Toro or Jacobson triplex. Obviously as you can see here there's a range of cassettes that fits your turf management needs that all fit into the one universal chassis depending on the adaption kit that you need. I'm going to go through all these in a little bit more detail uh, individually so please stay tuned. This is the universal uh, chassis, which obviously can be adapted to fit the mainstream triplex, John Deere, Jacobson, or Toro, or even currently fit on our Infinicut Ranger mowers. This is obviously 22 inch. It's fitted with a smooth roller. We do have options of groove rollers or wirely rollers. We have wrenchless height uh, adjustment here, which is on a click system. Can be locked down with the locking knot here. Very simple modular design, stainless steel um, construction. So very robust. Each one of the actual cassettes will fit into this carrier and uh, will allow you to do your different turf management practices. Beauty of this also is we have adjustment on the side here, which is all color coded, which allows you to adjust the rear roller again for different cutting heights when you have the cutting unit fitted or the debris brush, turf management, turf clean brush, uh, which I'll go through in more detail in a later video. Thank the you. range of Verticutter grooming style cassettes that fit into the TM system. Scarifier, Thatchmaster, Razor cassette, and Ultra Groomer all have slightly different agronomic purposes. Scarifier, heavy duty, um, 1.6 millimeter carbide tip blades at about one and a half inch spacing, uh, allow you to go a little bit deeper um, into collars, tea boxes that sort of thing regular verdict cassette two millimeter carbide tip to the thatch master that's probably one of the most common setups on the market okay obviously moving on to the razor cassette one millimeter non carbide tips which we've predominantly sold to the warm season guys uh, for grooming weekly grooming uh, of the canopy on the Bermuda greens ultra groomer uh, designed uh, with 1.3 millimeter carbide tip blades. As you can see, incredibly tight spacing, literally a groomer on steroids, as I would call it, literally tickling the canopy, whether it's be the cool season grasses for removing power seed heads, uh, grain, um, sand that leaf blade, that sort of stuff. And again, similar on the warm season grasses. Okay, both cassettes here, we have the Sour Roller and the Star Spiker. Both will go down to about 0.8 of an inch, three quarters to 0.8, okay, depending on your surface. Uh, predominantly sell the sour roller to the cool season guys uh, obviously who want to poke a hole uh, obviously open that canopy up stop it sealing up and um, we typically sell the uh, star spiker to the warm season guys that predominantly want to put a slope into the canopy and open the canopy up both ground driven so obviously uh, no extra stress on your machine uh, can be done at relatively fast speeds uh, when, especially when you're on your triplex so this sort of application and process can be uh, completed uh, in pretty quick time. This is the uh, vibratory roller cartridge. Okay, this actually fits into the main uh, chassis uh, that I explained in the previous video. This actually creates the frequency uh, and the vibration that apply through the front and rear roller of the chassis. Uh, 83 megahertz, which is the optimum uh, vibration level to um, smooth out the canopy of a playing surface. We have the optional brush attachment uh, that goes with this vibratory roller. This is a great tool, it's quick release, um, obviously fits it in between the two rollers. Fantastic for your weekly light dustings of top dressing, working that and vibrating that into the canopy. This is a really cool tool um, to supplement the other agronomic uh, cassettes that we have, um, especially for those guys that do that weekly top dressing, they'll do their grooming, do a light top dressing, put the vibratory roller cassette with the brush in, work that into the canopy it is a really really good process two different style brushes here this one is your regular rotary brush uh, typically um, this has been used for taking uh, excess top dressing sand uh, off the canopy maybe brushing up some collars tees standing that leaf blade up uh, things like that just uh, light surface work from that point of view uh, further to that we developed what we call the debris brush the turf clean now this is designed more for your taller heights of cut so I'd probably suggest half an inch and above. Now the difference with this is we actually have finger combs here. So you actually set your height so the finger combs actually brush and go through the canopy. What that does then, it, it brings up any material, debris, uh, organic matter that, that you wanna clear out the surface. The brush then obviously clearly spins, 
Um, if you put your grass catches on, obviously that's going to collect into the baskets, pick all that uh, material, divots, that sort of stuff. We have sold a bunch of these for driving range tees, that sort of thing. So this is a really cool new style cassette. Show you quickly how the cassettes uh, go in and out of the chassis and how simple uh, and quick uh, this process actually is. The horseshoe cutouts, as you can see, are on the side plates of the chassis. And then you have these uh, clamping plates here with the bolt, spacer, and what we call the bevel cam washer and the actual plates itself. So all you have to do is make sure the bolts are actually slack and flat uh, and flush with the actual side plate itself. Pop your cassette in and line it up with the actual horseshoe brackets. Pop it down there. Sometimes what I like to do is use a rubber mallet just to tap these in, make sure that they are seated properly lock each one of these uh, side plates down the bevel cam washers then will crimp and compress and this keeps the whole chassis itself completely rigid as simple as that i want to tell you about the rear roller power brush which is an option that you can fit to uh, your chassis uh, this is obviously a fantastic uh, tool for keeping the rear roller clean of debris it has a sealed gearbox that's actually ground driven off the rear roller Okay, so it's actually not drawing any physical extra power from the machine. It has one grease fitting on the side here, as you can see. This brush then, as you can see there, ground driven off the rear roller. It does have an eccentric on here, which you can see, which actually can adjust the aggressors of the brush against the reel. And then on this side, it has uh, a couple of bolts, which again, one slotted, so you can physically adjust um, that aggressor there. It's really easy. Quick release, pop the pin, the R clip, pull the pin, and that's your actual brush out. So obviously if you damage it or you need to service the actual gearbox or anything itself. So really simple, straightforward, great addition to the chassis. We have um, three different styles of cutting units available, seven, 11, and 14 blade reel options. Okay. With this uh, existing chassis allows us uh, to cut from green's height all the way up to around about an inch, just over an inch, okay. The beauty of our cutting reels, it's a cassette just like the rest of the cassette, so it goes in and out exactly the same as well as I demonstrated in an earlier video. One of the key benefits of our cutting unit, okay, we actually have an eccentric um, down here, which is what allows you to adjust the bed knife uh, relationship, the BCD um, of the bed knife to reel, uh, to give you slightly different uh, aggressive styles of cut depending on the season and what your application needs to be for that period of time throughout the season so it just gives you that ability of just ability okay just like the rest of the cassettes okay the height adjustment again is on the click system so really simple to adjust the height okay most mechanics seem to like that from its simplicity point of view and then your on cut of your bed knife to reel adjustment is on the top side here uh, obviously that's your relationship between your bed knife uh, and your reel for your on cut very simple straightforward